as the forest officials took a momentary break from their routine tasks, an urgent call pierced the tranquility of their surroundings. The news echoed through the air, informing them of a distressed elephant in the depths of the woods burdened by a protruding mass from her vaginal area. In that crucial instant, the gravity of the situation struck them, igniting an unwavering determination to aid the suffering creature without hesitation. Swiftly mobilizing their resources, the officials rallied together, driven by a shared sense of responsibility, and began racing against time to reach the distressed elephant's side. Upon reaching the site, the officials and the veterinarian carefully approached the distressed elephant. The experienced veterinarian examined the protrusion and concluded that a closer inspection was necessary to diagnose and treat the elephant's condition accurately. With the elephant's well-being at the forefront of their minds, the veterinarian decided to sedate the elephant for a thorough examination. The team quickly prepared the sedative drug, loaded it into the tranquilizer gun, and aimed and darted it into the elephant's massive frame with unwavering precision. As the tranquilizer took effect, the team quickly cleared the surrounding environment, ensuring that no harm would come to the elephant or themselves as they worked tirelessly to provide the necessary care and treatment. Once the tranquilizer took effect, enveloping the elephant in a gentle slumber, the dedicated team conducted a meticulous examination. Their keen eyes and experienced touch detected a distressing sight, a noticeable swelling indicating an infection within the prolapsed area. Realizing the imminent danger posed by the infection spreading throughout the elephant's body, the veterinarian made a critical decision. With utmost urgency, she administered a carefully calculated dose of antibiotics, multivitamins, and other essential medications tailored to the elephant's body weight, combating the threat to its life. Working in tandem, the veterinarian and the supportive officer painstakingly studied the intricate details of the prolapse, seeking valuable clues about its origin. Their collaborative efforts aimed to unravel the underlying causes, shedding light on the factors contributing to this distressing condition. Every observation and touch was infused with meticulous care their expertise intertwined with an unwavering commitment to the elephant's well-being. Vaginal prolapse in elephants can occur for various reasons, each impacting the delicate balance of their reproductive systems. As elephants age, their pelvic muscles and tissues naturally weaken, making them more prone to prolapse. It is commonly seen in animals with large pelvic cavities, like elephants, cows, and horses, however rare among elephants. Reproduction can also contribute to the vulnerability of an elephant's pelvic region. During pregnancy, the weight and pressure of the growing fetus exert significant strain on the pelvic muscles. Multiple pregnancies or difficult deliveries compound the strain, increasing the risk of vaginal prolapse. Hormones also play a significant role. Any disruptions in hormonal balance, such as abnormal estrogen levels, can weaken the pelvic tissues. These tissues lose their strength and elasticity, making them more susceptible to the onset of prolapse. The delicate equilibrium that governs the reproductive cycle can be disturbed, leaving the elephant's body vulnerable to this distressing condition. Moreover, trauma or injury to the pelvic region can significantly impact the stability of the supporting structures. Accidents or unfortunate circumstances can weaken the muscles and tissues, increasing the risk of prolapse. In addition, chronic coughing, often caused by respiratory conditions, can also create persistent pressure on the pelvic area, further compromising its integrity. Treatment methods for vaginal prolapse depend on the severity and underlying cause. Non-surgical approaches may include manual reduction of the prolapse, use of support devices or pessaries, and management of contributing factors such as hormone therapy or weight control. In severe cases or when conservative measures fail, surgical intervention may be necessary 
to repair the supporting structures and restore normal anatomy. After thoroughly examining the elephant, the experienced veterinarian confronted a challenging reality. Given the circumstances of working with a wild elephant in its natural habitat, performing surgery to fix the prolapse permanently was simply not feasible. With the weight of responsibility on their shoulders, the veterinarian and the team made a difficult yet compassionate decision. They resolved to provide the most effective and relevant treatment possible, aiming to save the elephant's life. Understanding the gravity of the situation, they committed to continuous monitoring and treatment until a cure could be achieved. Once the initial treatment has been administered and the elephants begin to show signs of improvement, they may venture back into the wild, seeking the comforting presence of their herd. However, this can pose challenges for follow-up care, as locating and monitoring these elephants becomes formidable. To address this concern, the veterinarian applies a topical antibiotic treatment. With no signs of infection spreading within the elephant's body, this step helps ensure the completion of the treatment, providing a final layer of care and protection. In the world of wildlife rescue, each case presents its unique challenges and uncertainties. Yet the indomitable spirit of those dedicated to the well-being of these magnificent creatures shines through. Through their tireless efforts, this video serves as a testament to the resilience of both the animal and human spirit reminding us of the power of compassion, expertise, and collaboration in preserving the delicate balance of our natural world.